Hey guys, Brian over here. I hope you can hear me. I am in the process of doing the fluid film for my truck. Here's the truck. And I just finished the underbody, which I didn't record because it's creating a lot of mist and I didn't want it to get all over my camera. So I just wanted to get you some footage of me doing the hood, the doors, the tailgate, and kind of talk about what I did. All right, so let's check it out. So I have this 360 wand, which gives it a full spray in all directions. And I just finished up doing the top of the hood and I'm changing directions while it's in there. And this is part of my preparing for winter series where I share with you what I like to do to get the truck ready for a New York winter. And just to give you a look underneath the truck, what I accomplished while I was underneath, I avoided the rubber hoses. It says on the can that you want to avoid rubbers that are not, uh, that are 100% rubber. So an oil resistant rubber is what would be okay. But if it's not an oil resistant rubber, you'd want to avoid it and wipe it off. I got a little bit in the exhaust, which I wiped off. And this is my first time doing it. But I did all the moving parts. I avoided the brakes as much as possible. You know, I got a little bit of the bolts around the brake area. I took the spare out and I got oil on top and bottom of the spare and put it back in. And this is a self-healing fluid. So that means if you take your finger and you smear a little bit off, it kind of moves back into where it was and it continues to seep. You won't believe how many crevices there are underneath of a truck for you to get the oil. So many different holes to get into. All right, let's check out the doors. So here's the list that I created, which is pretty much my plan. I did step number one, step number two, step number three and four and i'm working through step number five so next up is the doors all right so another thing that i learned was with the fluid film this weather stripping you want to avoid because it could swell a little bit which is going to make it sag so i'm going to do my best to avoid that area What I want to do is go in one direction as far as I can go, hold it down and slowly pull it out. Then the other direction. Oh, I should probably wipe that up. Trying to get the corner. And you can hear in the door. Where it's going.
Next up, I'm gonna do parts on the tailgate that move where there's metal on metal contact. I would have used the red stuff too, but I have this on hand, so why not? I might even give these a little bit too. For people experienced with fluid film application, let me know if I'm carried away by getting these little bolts. This one was already done. Oh, and I'm ahead of myself. Battery terminal locks, anchor hooks in the bed, and the gas cap hinge. And I'm gonna get these two on up. This guy's already started. And to the other side. And last but not least. I might even get the wand to get in the back of here. Hard to tell if that's metal, but I'll give it a little bit. Since the weather's going to be cooling down, all of this after I wipe up the mess is going to kind of start to get harder. And I'll wipe this up so that my hands don't get slimy every time I do the gas. And now I'm just going to check and wipe some overspray. Oh, and there's a spot I wanted to get. Let me get this. I had a Honda years ago that had a problem with this thing. I should probably take the battery and get the whole tray. But this is all I'm willing to do because I'm tired. And this process took a little longer than I wanted because I'm new to this process. I'd imagine there are some metals here that you could do. Could probably do a little bit on here. But I think I did good for the amount of work that I did. So next up, I'm gonna wipe up some of the overspray and we'll wrap up the video. All right, so now I'm just gonna do a little bit of this wipe up here so things look presentable. And a lot of the truck's body got stuff all over it. So I'm going to be washing it this weekend because I want it to look nice like it did after my most recent wash. But the nice thing about the truck being freshly cleaned and washed is I can do a very quick wash. Just a little soap, a light rub, a rinse and a dry. I don't have to go crazy with the, uh, the underbody, etc. So let's clean this up and wrap it up. There's some of that mist that I would have been breathing in if I wasn't wearing my protective gear. And I'd imagine this will probably drip for a couple of days if I applied it heavily.
right guys so that's a wrap the process took a little longer than i thought but i got it done i did the frame all the moving parts avoided the rubbers underneath avoided the brakes and also the rubber trim i have all the hinges done the locks and the inside of the doors hood and tailgate so with what i showed you let me know what you think i know i didn't get to show you a lot of the underbody it was just because the clouds that were coming out would have saturated the camera completely but i just wanted to share some of it and you know get your feedback if there are any tips that you wanted to share with me or the community down below please comment and if you support doing fluid film or any type of rust protection on your trucks please give it a like and um your feedback is valuable we'll see you in the next video peace